sure. I am going to turn down the music a touch. As it gets very loud on my end. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that startled me. <laughs> oh, oh, it turned okay. up on music. Yeah. All right, social posts are going out. Sweet. All right. All right. Welcome to Blue Pop Stream. I'm not sponsored by Pepsi, but maybe if we catch the pirate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back, everyone, to Scourge of the Dragon Sea. What did we do last week, guys? We robbed the gnome. <laughs> you <laughs> robbed the gnome. <laughs> I, conducted, I conducted legal business, and you robbed the gnome. <laughs> you distracted him. You were complicit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I be convicted if I was an unwilling accessory? Uh, yeah, no, you, you do. Intent is crucial. <laughs> uh, there, there is a bit for like. If anything, I'm a victim too. I was used. He it, says your, 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 <laughs> your intentional inaction was causing something to happen could give you like. Aiding and abetting. Is it really intentional inaction, though? I didn't know he was doing it. No, no, no. You're you're probably clear in your your case. Uh, <laughs> assuming this world uses IRL legalities, right? <laughs> again, again, he's wearing one of the cloaks I sold. <laughs> yeah, like that. Point. Now, now you are. Uh, that is uh, knowingly possessing stolen goods. <laughs> Unless I don't know it's stolen. You saw him walk out of the shop. All right, fine. I'm burning at the stake. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, they don't go by modern laws. I'm just gonna burn at the stake like a witch. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So, uh, last session. I do have a summary here if you want it. Go ahead. You are all for it. Last time. Uh, Last time on, uh, what is this? Scourge of the Dragon Sea. <laughs> you know what? You get a pass on that because it's only your second session. <laughs> the party made their way out of the ruins of the Elven Kingdom. Adima joined the party. Simon and Ithvik went to sell off the crown. They met a crazy, what is it? A, a gnome merchant. <laughs> Simon crazy. had the orb identified by the shopkeeper, Alphon. The shopkeeper was almost enthralled and attempted to steal it. They made 50 platinum, gave five platinum to the crew, split the rest six ways. If they could... Eridrim, Barry, Simon, Kai, and Dima, should he earn his keep. Ithic stole three robes. One gave Simon, one went to Kai, one non-magical wings went to Antoine. Ithic also donned the cloak of elven kind. Kai has an ever-smoking bottle, saw the thorned rose, it's a pirate vessel, it's leaving port. They declined the idea of going straight for the dread fort and instead are decided to follow the thorned rose for information and profit. Remembering what Mysteria said, either do something to earn an audience or bring him something he wants, and they Tend to do just that. Wow. My God. God you, you do that have every time? Yeah, you're like our narrator now. <laughs> okay, can I pay my in, my inspiration forward? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who doesn't have it? <laughs> I've still got mine. I yeah. I mean, I'll take it. It goes to Barry. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. To be used in a future face bashing. I can't believe I forgot I had that. I could have used um, several of my checks yesterday. <laughs> it's funnier that you didn't. Honestly, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's 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 go, uh, crew. <laughs> All right. All so, right. Uh, so, so he opens up that ever smoking bottle. Just real quick, just so right you, now. Okay, I, I would like. I, I DM. 
I would like to point something out about the ever smoking bottle. Uh huh. Uh, you know what it says? Like, open up the stat block there, uh, Kai, and tell me what it says about a wind. Oh, this will be entertaining. It depends on the wind. I know that. While yes. you're looking that up, I just want to make sure. So we did some stuff before we started the stream. So all the shopping you wanted to take care of is all squared away. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're not who I wanted. You want to mention it, it what, what happened in the shield? It was just me buying a weapon and a shield. That was all. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It d doesn't need to be. Uh, just mentioning for continuity's sake. Anyone meticulously analyzing our campaign go, Hey, why does he have a cutlass now? I have a cutlass because I'm a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whoa. <laughs> We're pirates now. I'm old. I didn't sign Fair on enough. for this. I'm looking for legitimate work. <laughs> so, uh, the ever smoking bottle, um, you has a maximum radius of 120 feet, which can entirely encompass your ship barely. Sick. Um, now, that is opening it and then waiting a full minute for it to reach maximum size. Mm -hmm. uh, it persists as long as the bottle is open. Uh, what, closing it requires a command word to, to do so. Once the bottle is closed, the cloud disperses after 10 minutes. A moderate wind, uh, 11 to 20 miles per hour, can also dis disperse the smoke after one minute. And a strong wind uh, can do so after one round. So traveling on wind power with the ever smoking bottle <laughs> might be difficult, uh, but I like the idea. However, small caveat: mm -hmm. it Please is don't do smoke. That word in <laughs> also, you're in port, but it is smoke. It is opaque from the outside and the inside. <laughs> so what well, you're saying is someone's like... got to be sticking out the front of it, aiming us. I, either the front or like the crow's nest is probably taller than a hundred. Well, it's the, yeah, probably taller than a hundred and tw uh, 120 feet. Uh -huh. Or actually, that's a 60 foot radius. That's a tall the problem. Is you do have to keep the bottle open. Yes, that's going to a maximum of 120 feet, which <clears throat> that's still a radius. What what if what we I think what we do is have someone as far to the front of the boat as possible and have the radius be centered around the front of the boat. That way the back of it is not, you know, engulfed in opaque smoke. Uh, but the mm. front of it is covered, which is the point, because we don't want them to see the front of our boat approaching them. Sure. Instead, it's just an opaque cloud of smoke. You said we established at the end of the last season that it was yeah, cloudy yeah. out. Yeah, 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 that's true. That is true. Okay. Just uh, some very, very, the... very low clouds. <laughs> measuring your ship from uh, nose to another rear. I don't. Bow uh, to stern. Bow to st thank you. That's it. From bow to stern, it is 165 feet. From front across. bird to back bird. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, and that's not including the um, the bit that sticks out at the front, whose name I also forget. <laughs> We're nautical. Yeah, I, I swear Fuck. at one point I knew these terms. Fuck it, yeah. the horn, the horn of the ship. <laughs> yeah, the, the prow. Sure. That's it. The prow. prow. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's just jump over to this scene because I'm proud, <laughs> kind of proud that I actually got it done this week. Proud. <laughs> this look, everyone. This look right here. <laughs> I googled anyway. it just to make sure, and yes, it is proud. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what does everyone? Oh, what is the plan with that in mind? So someone's going to be stationed at the prow holding the bottle while we are going. Okay, now how are you seeing where you're going? Someone up in the crow's nest. Okay, so you're, you're flying by pirate wire. Got it. Oh, God. <laughs> sure. Slightly right. to the left! 
Well, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> Before we go into this. You want to sail? <laughs> Five degrees right. to port! You know, that shit. <laughs> All right. If we are going after a ship, do we mean to sink her or are we taking her alive? We're just following at the moment. <laughs> I think we want to see where they're going because there could be more uh, treasures that we could use as offerings to our target uh, where they are going. If we sink them, then we have no idea what we could have missed. And if the pirate ship that tends to attack ships tends to attack us, what's the plan here? Well, if they we'll attack us, it. then we sink them. Then we, what choice do we have? Uh, capture, perhaps? That is also an option. We don't have a big enough crew. To, wait, no, we, I, we actually do have two people who can <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure, let's capture it. We, do, we could use a second ship, right? <laughs> could you oh, imagine no, if we well. actually assembled our own fucking fleet? That would be rad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, such things might be possible later on. Maybe. Again, I would like to mention that only three people on the ship know how to sail. At the very <laughs> least, if we can't take the ship, we might be able to abscond with what's on it. That's all I'm saying. That's also good. <laughs> Thunder at the very least. New guy, oh, you're, you're sailing okay. this time. These are good plans. I like these plans. Sounds good to me. Uh, which way is the wind blowing? Do you know? Can I check for that? Sure. Give me a. You do have a druid with you, uh, but give me a, a nature check yourself. <laughs> Roll for wet finger. Yeah, yeah. For for the <laughs> record, that's it. Yeah, sticking your finger in your mouth and holding it to the air. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, not very wet. <laughs> okay. Not very um, wet. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll roll. Fuck it, I'll roll. Pretty sure Druidcraft can also tell you this. I rolled an 18. Yeah, fair. <laughs> okay. The right. navigator right. doesn't know right. shit. <laughs> so, so those of you who are just like kind of using your own natural like faculties to try and check, um, it's really hard, like, the wind's just kind of gusty and weak where you are right now in a port because tall buildings, etc, etc, etc. But, uh, Kai, you note more from checking, you know, cloud movements and whatever, the, the wind is in the east. I think that's how I want to say it. It's... The wind is blowing offshore. So in the direction we're headed? Yes. Okay. All good for sailing. Game's right. by the way. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to establish who's sitting at the front with the bottle. Is it one of us or do we have one of the crew members do it? Uh, I can see up there with it. Be up here. <laughs> You're going up to the crow's nest? Yes. Since he's got the smoking bottle, he's going to have to be in the front. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll head to the front. Who's in the crow's nest, by the way? It's a blue boy. It's a <laughs> Good to go. All right. <clears throat> I'll stay right here just to keep an Sure. Um. So. You hear uh, a call from the other ship. Very, di you can't really make out any words. But then you see uh, oars. Uh, ship shipped it out and they start rowing away from the pier uh, as you are watching this happen uh, after once they get well away from the other ships and uh, into a, a more favorable position for wind you see the sails uh, sails hoisted full and they start to accelerate out of the port 
All right, well, the smoke is going to take a minute to get to full size, so we should start working on heading out as well. All right. I don't think we want to, like, release the smoke, like, as we're getting out of harbor either. No, we want to wait a little bit, okay. but we don't want them to get too far away. No. We need, we need, to, we need to be at just the right <laughs> distance so that they don't spot us until the smoke is in front of us. And the problem is it's a foggy day, so if that happens, we won't see them. Yeah, so not too far, but like... Just beyond eye shot, you know what I mean? So are we going? Mm. Yeah, let's... Yep, take us out. Let's ship out. All right. Uh, where's the boatswain at? He is waiting for orders. Very well. well. Pipe down, home alike. Anchors away. We're underway, lads. This guy's good. Hoist that anchor. Let's get get out of here. Row, boys, row. And <laughs> the same happens. It's kind of slow going to get out of port. After a while, while he looks up at you and says, I think it's re ready, sir. This guy has sailed before. Half sail. We don't want to get too close to him. Half sail! The uh, necessary commands are, are, are uh, relayed around, and sa sails go up, up to half, and you are underway uh, under wind power. The cleanest power. For the record, that is about two and a half miles per hour. Blazing fast. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, do you damn. need us to roll anything to keep track of them on the foggy night? Uh, yes. I need you to make regular perception checks. All right. Can I give him help action on that? Too He's late. up in the crows. Ooh. <laughs> I, I can fly wow. around. I can Do fly around. Sure. Uh, sure. Okay. We don't so have I'm... the smoking bottle open yet, so yeah. I can also make one. Fair enough. I'm out. I'm yeah, flying you, around you helping you on that. Is... Yeah. Uh, roll it again. He's giving the, the the help action. Good timing on that. Long... That's a long range help action. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> 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 That's better. Okay, you you can can see them like just off and relay information well enough to uh to let people know. Uh, is the bottle being opened? You are well enough out of port at this point. Yeah, I think if we're reasonably far away enough, then let's get the smoke going. Alrighty. So, the nice smoke. Bottle, so. Thank you. I was gonna say, good, good folio work. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has that one sound they can do with their face. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I would gladly trade it for the ability to whistle. That said, <laughs> yeah. All right, so, art browser, is this what I want? No. I swear there was a time when I was at least reasonably comfortable with half of this program. But. Hey, you're you better at it than, you're better than me, so <laughs> don't worry. Fair enough. Uh, sure, let's go with smoke. Nothing. Cool. Smoke Great. out. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, smoke bottle is uncorked. Immediately, there is a cloud. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go with. There. Over. God damn, this is a big fucking thing. About that big. On the front of your ship? Yeah, that's about what I envisioned. 
60 foot radius. That's about what I envisioned. <laughs> now, as you keep moving, the smoke trails backwards. I would imagine as it's trailing backwards, it's not as thick as it's you're, less, you're right. you're less right. dense. Um, Barry, you are in the smoke cloud. I was like, oh, you, might, this... you, you might oh, want to move. I kind of figured I'm just kind of like bouncing between being on deck and then being below putzing around in the kitchen. Um, okay. So I'm kind of just doing double duty here. Oh, we lost someone. Sure. And they're back. <laughs> yeah, I, I was refreshing. I couldn't see anyone else on the map. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's because you don't have dark vision. It always gives you very limited vision. I have it set to like as bright as possible. I will add a couple light sources that aren't actual torches on deck, but like that should help. I appreciate it. Yeah. And we could just say they're hooded lanterns or something. Like, sure. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So, uh, could I get another perception check? Yeah, fuck. Oh god. With, with my health action. <laughs> yes. Yeah, your your owlkin is flying around as well. Ooh. You you again clearly can relay information well enough. Um they are start, starting to pull it like they're traveling faster than you right now. Um but you can still clearly see where they are towards the horizon. The rest of you, he's calling a direction. Those of you who can even see around the cloud, there it, it's hard to make out anything in the direction your um, your crow's nest is calling. I'm assuming I don't need to know that so I can vary speed because right now we're at half sail. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to get too close, so I don't know if we want to increase the speed too much. But if they are faster, we're gonna lose them. If they're currently going faster than us, then yes, they are. Then yes. Okay. Order is given for full sail. Full yep. sail. Keep them in sight, lads. Sight in exclam in quotation marks. Full sail. Full <laughs> sail. After, you know. Probably 30, 45 seconds, sails are full, and off you go. Uh, you do, once your, your ship accelerates to full speed, do start to close a little bit, but it, it's a very slow, uh, slow catch up. Mm -hmm. uh, to put specific numbers on it, it seems like you are traveling one mile per hour faster. Okay. <clears throat> I don't oh. know the command to turn the sails to only catch some of the wind and not all of it. You want like a quarter tack or whatever? Aye, that'd be it. Yeah. We'll, we'll in the future. We'll, Yo, we'll let us stand for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I did do a little bit of ship, like nautical terminology research, and um, caravels were latine uh, rigged, which meant that they could sail into the wind under some wind power, I guess. And I have zero idea how that works in physics. I only know the names of some classifications of ships because when I was young, I played Sid Meier's Colonization. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, so, uh, could I get another set of perception checks, and I am actually going to make some as well. Nice. Uh, Very good, yeah. Uh, 22 total. <laughs> Need to pull up a couple other stat blocks real quick. Uh. And there. Uh, 
Ithvuk, you wouldn't happen to have any method of magnifying your sight, do you? Uh, I don't think I do, no. Yeah, no, I don't have a spyglass or anything. Oh, okay. In that case... Uh, sure, you can absolutely still see the other ship. Um, and again, th this time they do look a little bit closer than they were when you <clears throat> when you called down that they were they were sort of gaining distance. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you love love the pressure of a nautical chase? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I being told this? Yes, I'm. I'm relaying everything he's saying. <laughs> yes. Appreciate it. Just shouts out. <laughs> Don't you love the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd like to give the order to uh, close hold the sails, taper some of the speed off. I had to Google what it was called. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that happens. You you cut back, you know, roughly a quarter of your speed, so to speak. That hot, nasty sail action. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you continue traveling. Uh, yeah. After, honestly, we'll say that this is happening in hours because shit happens slowly on the sea. Yep. Uh, after another hour, I need another perception check, Ithvik. Ooh. All right. It's it. The, the clouds are kind of starting to gather a bit more. Um, there's not as much light. Uh, it's causes weird things with the waves and you're, you're pitching and dropping and it's pretty pronounced up in the crow's nest um you you sort of temporarily lose the other ship and then after a couple minutes you see them again um it looks like they might be uh reducing their sails so that tells us that we're approaching their destination or they've noticed us and they're slowing down. Could be. I would say we s we're still in the process of slowing down ourselves. Yeah, we haven't gotten back up. Correct. Okay. Are you Every time I hear the clack, it does hear a roll. <laughs> Worry, <laughs> panic, fear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are still traveling at the, the reduced pace that was ordered at last hour. And the other ship has also reduced sail. What is happening? I guess we just try and keep our distance can if I, we can. Can I make a roll to see if I... an insight roll to see if I know what they're doing? Sure. Since... Can I'm, I get I'm help on that? Because I do have... Uh... I, I'm actually going to impose disadvantage on that check. Okay. Because you're still quite far from the other ship. Understandable. Fuck it. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Um, you... You see that the sales have been reduced, and... It, but but their, their course hasn't changed at all, as best as you can tell. Um, which... could suggest that either... They, the other things that you have already said, really, they're either nearing their destination. Uh, I will also note you don't see, from where you are right now, you don't see any 
land in the direction you are traveling. <clears throat> is it because of the fog or is there just nothing on the horizon? It, there, you don't see any land on the horizon. So if they're not slowing down because they're approaching their destination, uh, we might be in trouble. Let's get a couple people on the door to, just in case. Sorry, get a couple cannon, people on. The ballista. Get on the cannons, you say? Cannon, yeah. I, I wouldn't do yeah, I do ballista because they're in front of us still. I mean, either way, if you're going to be on either of them, you're kind of firing blind either way. All right, I guess I'll, yeah. I'll get near one of the cannons to be ready as I can. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Let's not assume we're in the shit until we are. Um. So another hour passes. And you close a bit. Could I get another perception check, Ithic? Simon, are you doing another circle to try and help him out? Yes. Okay. Oh, that was almost a 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, again, have, have gained a bit. Um, and you can now pretty clearly see what is on the other ship's deck. Um, not so much crew complement, but like general layout of what's over there. Uh, you see, they also have two ballistas. They have four cannons just on the top deck. You can't really tell anything uh, down the, the, the uh, sides of the hull. Um, any gun ports are still closed if they exist. You also see what looks like a catapult. Oh. That's concerning. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Uh, and to put it more specifically, a mangonel uh, on, a, on a like rotating table on the other ship's deck. We, we should take it. <laughs> that's that's a lot of wood. That's very heavy wood. <laughs> <laughs> then you take. Uh, the ship. I don't. I don't know if Barry can lift that. Just saying. <laughs> I can certainly try. We can get some crew members to help, maybe, if if, if uh, we take it when all the dust is settled. So I'm assuming this ship is larger than us. It is. Uh, uh, we've in got terms a... of spe specific um, lengths, your ship is... I measured it out there. It's 165. This is probably closer to 200 feet long. And uh, a little bit wider, but not by much. Uh, it would also have a larger crew. Probably. Now, I know so we, we're I know, on a galleon, right? You are on a, a caravel. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's terrible. It's <laughs> not a very big ship. <laughs> now, just, I just, to figure that out before I agreed. <laughs> just, just want to spitball out here and consider all possibilities. If things go very well in whatever encounter is about to happen, trade up ships? <laughs> oh, naturally. Naturally. It, yeah, <laughs> if, we, if we don't sink it, we, we can take it, but... So, effectively, we want to get rid of crew versus... That means we're boarding. <laughs> Hmm. Give me an insight check, uh, Barry. You haven't done much yet yet this session. <laughs> My insight is not great. Sure, it is now. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Um, oh, looking around at your crew and seeing how many are like fighters, so to speak, and how many are more just sailors, you can probably assume that there's a similar ratio on the other ship, where in terms of people ready to fight, there's like you guys, the other ship probably has a similar, like a few people who are like fighters ready to defend the ship and another bunch that are just there to keep it moving, mm -hmm. as it were. We can take them. 
Hey, it's it's Barry. Uh huh. Hey, Barry, do you still got that uh, long sword from the king? Do I still got that what? The long, the sword. long sword. Of course, I still have that long. Oh shit! Nope, I forgot it downstairs. I rush. <laughs> I forgot it downstairs. <laughs> Quite literally, I was thinking, I was like, how is this girl going to be cooking with a big, like, cursed longsword on her back? And the answer is that she doesn't. She just leans it on, like, the counter. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. <laughs> oh, um, no! I forgot my sword! <laughs> I, forgot my sword. <laughs> I run down and I grab it and I come in. Awesome. This is great. <laughs> I'd say he's already committed to joining our crew. And um, this is immediately after trend. and this is immediately after Nat 20 ing an insight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just like a light bulb that. moment of like, wait! <laughs> Not all of us are fighters. So uh alright. So what's the plan from here, crew? Well, first uh, I have a trying to uh, say Barry you might want to think about giving that to one of the other two crew members here that are lightly armed oh you want me to give away my sword I mean oh. are you going to use the sword you've proven <laughs> yes. I, I mean <laughs> you use the sword the sword she I think she would do good with the sword but she also has already done very good with uh, the rolling pin so it depends on like how evenly we want to spread our enhancements among the members here does anyone else, could anyone else use a longsword? Well, one of our crew has a dagger, and the other has, a, I think, the mace. I'm good. What What do you have, Edema, for, for weapons? A warhammer. Ooh. Uh, a warhammer. I like your style. Hammers, the underappreciated <laughs> melee weapon. <laughs> Well, you can offer it to the fake bird boy down there, running around with this feather coat cloak. Oh, he, like, who he... would? <laughs> he seems to be more of a. But who would get the most? Yeah, who would get the most use out of it? Um, it's it's hard to say. Uh, you have seen uh, Antoine be very, very effective with his dagger and also just his hands. Yeah, that's why I'm like, Antoine probably wouldn't maximize its potential yeah. as much. Well, I mean, Barry, look at the stats between your weapons. If we were in combat, would you be fighting with the long sword, or is the is your other weapon still better? Because you being our barbarian, we want you at your most effective. Well, the big two-handed weapon is stronger, but the other one gives temporary hit points. <laughs> yeah. This is basically you have to choose between damage dealing or being a tank. <laughs> barbarians can do both. Yes, yes, yeah, barbarians can do both very, very well. Yeah, that's true. Like I could just keep using Cookie, um, but I don't know if our new friend would want it. This guy. Uh, are you referring to me here? Yes, yes. new friend. Uh, no, uh, no. As a matter of Dig fact, if we're, if we're if we're going to be warden, or uh, there's something I would like to do first. So oh. when we get in range, oh, before okay. you jump ahead, mm. just be oh, aware. Boy. Things seas could get rough. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. Our religious talk. <laughs> I am excited. <laughs> I heard each Simon say that I was going to throw. I was on down from this Christmas time. <laughs> oh boy. You're, you're the fun kind of cleric. <laughs> the Thor cleric? Oh, te Tempest clerics are amazing. <laughs> okay, well, is the, other, right. is the other ship still advancing or have they stopped? They're, they're still moving, but you are getting closer. Uh, can I get another perception check, actually? That's Ithric. Sure can. With help. I like how Ithwick is just like shouting down his part of this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all or you you see that they've started to come about a little bit. They are are turning to their starboard. 
which Can tells me us? they want to shoot us. So they're if they haven't actually spotted us, they're at least getting suspicious of the cloud. They are probably within a thousand. Yeah, I was say, do I see anything? They are within a thousand feet of you now. Uh, you see lots of movement on the deck as well. Uh, I was going to see well, if it's more if, saying in the it, direction they're heading. If, uh, not particularly. If we can see you activity on the deck, can we see <laughs> them? Do we see anyone manning their weapons? Uh, there are people by their weapons, yes. Okay, that, yeah. yeah. Okay. And they're that turning in starboard. That. So we're doing this. Yep. So we might want to start turning ourselves. Uh, Full sail, starboard swing, pull up alongside her. And uh, I, in that that was, uh, I was gonna say, do we want to cap the bottle now? Give yeah, me something here. Capping the bottle. One quick moment. Uh, it's like, what's your AC? 16. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, you take. 13 points of piercing damage as you get shot. Uh, you hear a, a crack of gunpowder uh, after you get hit. Huh. Well, shit, they got firearms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you look in the direction it came from and you see... Uh, actually, Itchy, do you want to show that NPC that I sent you? Okay. Uh, She's you on. see a purple-haired woman with weird, like, purple bits, almost with, like, stone poking through her, uh, her hair, um, reloading a musket. And she's on the deck of the other ship. Yes. I right. am immediately going to crash down and try to hide in Christmas. Absolutely. You take I cover. I think we met one of their fighters. <laughs> Uh, uh, who, those of you who have experience, like, uh, all, all of you can make me just an intelligence check, um, if you have a pirate or sailor background, you so have a proficiency check. I believe I do. Yeah, I took soldier. I took Soldier, which I think Sailor is a variant on, so I don't know if that counts. I think Sailor and Pirate are variants of each other. Okay, so it's just... Sailor and Pirate, yeah. So just yeah. an intelligence check, then? Yes. How do I put proficiency on it? Do I just add that? Uh, in the situational bonus, after you click intelligence, it, it is the window that pops up. Just Got add your, your plus three proficiency bonus. Woo! Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. That looks a little uh, occupied with being all shot. All right. I'm dealing with a bullet wound. I'm a... Okay. <laughs> you, you want, you're busy. You're, you're distracted. Distracted. Uh, Simon, Kai, Adema. The ship you are chasing is the Thorned Rose, captained by Danny the Fierce, who is well known as a skilled marksman and duelist. Cool. Mark's person, I suppose, I, sh I should say. Mm -hmm. um, there's a when good you chance say, that that's just shot Ithvik. When Ow. you say Danny is fierce, are we talking like fierce? Are we talking like <laughs> her? <laughs> You've never met her, so you don't know. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, your ship starts to uh, wheel to starboard. And, uh, Ithic, how'd you hold it in there, blue boy? Uh, just, I'm, I'm leaking a little bit, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm leaking. <laughs> and since I have the ability, I'm going to heal. <laughs> yep. And, uh, <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> that much piercing damage. Kai would be in the process of corking the bottle. Yep. Aradrin, take the helm. We're playing the feud. <laughs> uh, he 
Yes, sir. Right, right away. And he, he comes up and uh, take, takes the helm from you. As as just a pre- 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 preparation, a measure of preparation, I'm just going to summon my packed weapon, my, my longbow, and then have it on my back ready for whenever we sure. get into actual combat. Sure. Sounds good. You are. Let me check the ranges on on your your cannon. Uh, you, as you you come along, holy sh! You are absolutely in range for your cannons. Sick. Uh, let's have a What's the distance on that again. Uh, sixty two hundred or two thousand four hundred or si- six hundred two thousand four hundred. Nice. So 600 foot normal range, 20, uh, 2,400 feet long range. Uh, your ballistas are 120, 480. And I'm not going to tell you their mangonels range. But yeah, we wouldn't know that. So. Correct. <laughs> uh, I will... Me and Edema might, but other than that. Yeah... Um, notably, each weapon also has a, a health pool and AC. All right. Oh, if you're wondering what that stealth check was, I'm going to try to sneak out. You, because you, careful. Will, <laughs> you will know that uh, the mangonel has a minimum range as well. Hmm. So since we're, our plan is to board them, and if that thing has a minimum range, I guess plan is to get close to them while we are, maybe? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, pull, we're pulling alongside her. Okay. Yeah. Bosun, get us in close. That... <laughs> okay, let, can I get... Oh, what is, what is the Caravel's dexterity? Cool. You guys actually have a very dexterous ship. A very nice. nimble ship. Uh, could I get someone to roll a d20 for your initiative score? Just to see who gets to go first now that we're in a specific, like, move-move sort of situation. Uh, and I'm also going to roll a d20. I rolled a six. Well, their their net rolled total was a minus two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so... Uh, you start to come about, um, yeah, you, you, you come about, uh, starboard, you're not quite parallel, but your, your, um, further, your cannons that are further to the prow, uh, could probably, probably get a shot. Your, your, I guess this would be the port side cannon. That's the side that the Ithaca and I are on? It's... No, that's the other side. Oh, yeah. I'm bad at directions. If if you are standing uh, at the wheel, uh, the oh, starboard is your right hand. Right. Again, Omega. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So even in D and D, Omega comes back to haunt us. Yep. Yeah. Your your this cannon here. This prob could feasibly get a shot off. I'm gonna come up here. <laughs> sure. So, since we are intending to board and possibly capture the ship, do we want to do what I suggested earlier and maybe aim for the weapons? Things that are not essential and can be replaced? Uh, Sa- uh, sails first, th- then that way they can't turn, and we can just keep ourselves out of range of the weapon. How many masts does the ship have? Theirs. Their ship. That's a very good question. Give me two seconds. The way I see it, if we hit the sails out and we have the same number of masts, we could burn a lot of time but re-rig that ship if we plan to take it however if they have more mass than us and we blow out the sails it'll just be dead in the water if we're planning on taking the ship we don't want to wreck all their weapons otherwise we're screwed if we run. i will also with, with the with it the case of the weapons we could just swap out their weapons with ours 
Do you have any idea how heavy a cannon is? <laughs> True. But this could all be sorted out when we return to a port. If we end up with both ships. But I, I do think uh, now that you've posited uh, it, if they have only a, one or two or a couple of masts, if we blow those out and disable their movement, that would... They, they have three masts. Uh, they, their ship is uh, a bit a bit longer, as I said. They also seem to have... Well, the, the main deck is about the same level as yours. Their uh, poop and four decks are higher. Okay. If that makes sense. All right, I would like to move up to the bow of the ship. You're moving to the bow of the ship. Okay, you do that. Fire the port side cannons. Aerodrum pull up on the sails. Wheel her back to port after the cannons fired. Get on the other side of her. Could I get? We have two people by by the cannons. You you also have uh, a couple of your sailors ready to help you reload your cannons as well. Um, so, so Barry and Simon, could I get? Uh, just what's the bonus on the cannon? Could I get you to roll what, uh, your attacks at plus six? Okay. So just d20 plus 6? Yes. And just Ooh. before I give resolutions, what is it you are aiming at? I guess we're aiming at the mass then, if that's the plan. Or the sails? Yeah, you can't hit the mass. Go for the sails. Yeah. Okay. The mass would be a very difficult shot. Uh, so, you both hit... Uh, your cannon steal 4d10. Okay. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot. Holy oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh, my That's God. That's damage. Okay. So, you, you tear some holes <laughs> through um, through the Posing sails. Um, Simon, your your shot is your, 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 the hole that your cannonball rips is quite large. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Now, where's a pencil here? There it is. My desk is super organized all the time, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. Abs I'll absolutely not tip the camera down to prove it. <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> <laughs> are we in range of the ballistas at the moment? Sorry? Of the ballistas? No, you are not. Uh, unfortunately, I was going to take a shot at the lady who shot me. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Uh, they... So, so you give your, your movement commands, um... It takes some time to get back around, so they are the opposing ship will have a chance to fire at least their cannon at you. Uh, so, as I understand it, we are cir we are circling around them as we. Is that what the movement we're making? Uh, so uh, that no. Is, uh, so damn. the way I was thinking, if they were hitting starboard and we were pulling up on the starboard side, and we just had enough to fire that left port cannon, you then pull back the sails wheel it to the left so you pull up on the opposite side of the ship so they still have to continue turning starboard and because they have holes in their sails they can't turn as quickly we'll come up on the other side we're a faster ship probably get him the ass i mean the <laughs> <laughs> the ass, the ass of the ship. <laughs> oh, okay. we're gonna shoot him in the aft <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly all right they they do seem to be metaphorically limping a little bit after those cannon shots uh but they are going to attempt some return shots here okay what is your ship's armor class here your hull has an armor class of that um uh, you hear two splashes nice 
Uh, all right. Uh, you feel your ships begin to move uh, back to port. Uh, some time passes. You see, see them again limping a little bit. They're not turning as quickly to to uh, maneuver in response to your movements. Uh, you start to get closer to their rear. Uh, what is the intended action here? Are we gonna ram them? <laughs> I don't think right this up is the a aft. ram and shit. This is a carousel. <laughs> it's not gonna do well, but I mean, uh, speak, speaking of rams, uh, I have a goat. <laughs> you are close <laughs> enough now that you see that the opposing ship has it almost seems like metal plating plating on their prow oh mm. oh mm. so they, they are very much designed to do that <laughs> mm -hmm. don't get in front of them I think. yeah uh, plan uh, how about we try and use the cannons to blow a hole through the back end and board that way i had <laughs> wow <laughs> Let's do it. Just right up the raft. <laughs> you heard Make him home. Make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Awesome. Cool. Here we go. So, um,. Your sails are still full. Uh, you keep moving forward. Um, you get uh, closer in behind them. Uh, they are now off of your starboard side. What's the, the plan? Are we blowing holes in, in the, the opposing aft section? How close are they? They are... Definitely within the. Uh, if you had to estimate their. Uh, about. Two, 250 feet, roughly. Good to go. Yeah, I say blow them <clears throat> in the aft, pull up along the uh, port side. Sure. D20 plus six again? Yep. You've got one coming, Ithvik. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. So that's a 25. That's a 25. Um, Simon, yours splashes mm -hmm. into the water. Uh, Ithvik, roll 4d10 for me. <clears throat> okay, awesome. You uh, send your cannonball crashing through the aft section of the enemy ship. So much for the captain's quarters. <laughs> uh, actually, we got one anyway. We don't need them, I guess. <laughs> uh, do I have a, a die here somewhere? Like a physical die? No. Oh, by the uh, way, I don't. I don't uh, Idina, Idima, I don't know when you were planning on using your uh, your cleric abilities for whatever you had planned. Just wanted to make sure Not that didn't enough. get forgotten. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay. Awesome. Cool. What is there? Oh, their hull has a lot of HP. Cannon shots. I have to make edits for that. You deal a bunch of damage to the opposing hull. Cool. Um, you've made a cannonball sized hole above the waterline. Neat. They uh, could I get as you hear a, a the thump of elastic energy being released? Um, could I get a dexterity saving throw? Actually, let me roll roll their attack roll first. 
Uh, what is the bonus that they have to that thing? Plus five. Okay. Do they even hit your ship? And your hull's AC is that. Could I get dexterity saving throws from Ithvuk, Barry, and Adema? Oh would, boy. This, would this count as an effect that I can see? Yes, you can see a, a cluster of rocks falling towards you. <laughs> okay, because I have, I have this, and I don't know, would that count? Yes. <laughs> nice. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, that was boy. very fast to me. What the fuck? <laughs> She's got danger her, sense. Her She's got coming. the spidey sense. <laughs> She's still rolling off that 20 insight. <laughs> I'll go with this. All right. Um, Edema and Ithva, can you each take 21 bludgeoning damage? Oh, no. Uh, Barry, you take half of that, which is 10. Well, oh, so, be good. <laughs> uh, some holes get peppered in the deck. Okay, cat's just being weird. Hey, Kaya, I'm in bad shape over here. Can I get ahead? Ow! All right. <laughs> you start to swing around the opposing ship's port side. You are uh, within probably 140 feet at this point. We're Rounds are longer than they would normally be in uh, close range combat. Closer range combat. While that is going on, am I able to make my way over to Ithwick? Oh, absolutely. All right. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I have a lot of health. <laughs> How close? Where? Because I still can't see on the stamp ship. Uh, so Ithvik oh, is... Oh, oh sh shit. Uh, I also don't have a, the opposing ship done up. This is all theater of the mind right now. Um, <clears throat> anyway. You... What is what is the magic number you're looking for? 30. 30. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> How, no, I'm uh, to Ithvik at this point. Or is he still in the crowd? Oh, 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 you, you are... No, no, he's, he's fired one of the cannons. He's right there. Yeah, oh, got it. Like 20 feet from you. Where is, uh... Oh, and K is on the other cannon? No, K no, like is... Right what? You oh, sweet. should be able to see... Like... Can you not see anything? Lantern light. <laughs> I literally can only see myself in the ship. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. That would be 14 you, hit points for you this can look, You can look at my stream. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You're right, I could do that. Hang on. <laughs> I, uh, I am try, trying to fi find something for you. Uh, That's fine. I'll just I'll look at the stream. You're good. Yeah, okay. Don't you have light? <laughs> um, um, like that should be here. Let me let me do this. Are we operating off of like yeah. an individual initiative order? Because I want to. What I want to do is yell over to Edema to come grab the healing elixir that I have that he could heal with. Mm. Uh, I will give you, Edema, a... You now are effectively holding a torch and that should help you for a bit, I think. Appreciate it. Yeah. Can you see now? I can see people. <laughs> cool. I can see clearly oh, now, the fog is gone. gone. <laughs> Especially if, if Kai can see people, like you guys have the same. Did you set this to no light or something, dude? Mm. It's set to daylight. <laughs> maybe oh, he. So maybe, he's blind. Jesus. Maybe he. I was gonna like he's just set to blind. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm. I'll, I'll have to look into it. But yeah, we are otherwise good. Um, you are on their port side. Uh, you see. People are scrambling on the other ship. Um, what would we like to do? 
I, I don't want to leave my position at the cannons, but I want to shout out to Edema. I have a healing elixir on my belt if you want to come grab it. I am a cleric, and I was going to do some prayer of healing, but I mean, yeah, I could grab that. <laughs> <laughs> just offering to help. While that's okay. going on, I'm just going to fire the cannon again. <laughs> Uh, Tyron, it. is that plus your wisdom modifier as well? Is that cure wounds? Yeah, it's supposed to have my wisdom modifier, my spellcasting modifier on top. Yeah, of it. which is for Claire or for Drew is wisdom and clerics. So does it include my proficiency or just the <clears throat> ability modifier? Uh, just the spellcast, just your like wisdom modifier. All right, so that's plus four. Yeah. You heal for 11 points. Nice. Uh, you are now within Ballista range. I'm and roll this. <laughs> sure, uh, definitely within cannon cannon shot. Plus six, right? So 18. 18. That, w what are you aiming for at this point? Uh, sales. <laughs> sales again? Okay, you, you hit. Ooh. Didn't mean to slash, but there you go. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Simon, are you also firing? Uh, yeah. Are we? Do we still want to keep aiming for the sails, or should we shift targets? It, Leave them dead in the water. Yeah, we don't want to move it at all. Yeah. Let's okay. Go. All right. Twenty plus Gonna six. Go ahead and knock two more rounds off. Not great. Wow. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I might shift to the ballista if no one else takes it next time. Unfortunately, that does not hit. Mm -hmm. I got my one big hit in. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Cool. Anton, Barry, get on the ballistas. We get fire. <laughs> okay. Antoine is going to run up here. To the port side ballista that is not uh, the most useful in this situation. Did it turn all the way around? Ship. Am I okay to heal at this point? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I will, because I can pick six people with this, I will guess I will pick uh, Barry and Ithvik since I think we're the only people who've taken damage. Oh, you got an AoE heal, nice. Yeah. Um, prayer of healing is very good. It uh, is, but do... can't be used in combat, unfortunately, but. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You might be true. Yep. Prayer of healing takes 10 minutes to cast. Oh, wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Otherwise, like six people 2d8 healing at a, as an action. That's very strong. Yeah. Um, I think the first like action aoe heals are like mass healing word which is a third one yeah so. I, I i'm not using that <laughs> <laughs> all all right you know what i will be I, I i want people to do the things they want to do uh we'll say that you've pulled up like within 30 feet let's let's go for it who can i see on that ship you can see uh, there, there's a whole bunch of people a lot just look like crewmen just doing their jobs uh, but you see uh, the individual that Ithuk described to you holding a musket uh, she is actually currently taking aim at someone on your deck mm -hmm. uh, you see someone who is holding a staff and a tall uh tall person who has like almost their hair moves as if it is flame off their head oh. who is barking orders oh there's two genasi on the ship <laughs> yeah how uh, far apart are they from each other uh danny is on the uh the navigation deck in like at the rear of the ship 
uh, not far from the wheel itself. And the, the person who has, they say there's someone with a staff. I think I did. Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, they are, um, they are roughly amidships near the, uh, Mangonel's turntable. Uh, you wonder if they might be sort of like giving the commands for that. And the uh, individual with the like flame-like hair is towards the front. Looks like there's a couple of crewmen um, ready to shoot a ballista. I would think we should um, go for the spell cast or the the staff person because they're either using that staff to cast an attack spell or a heal, or they're going to use the mangano on us. So they seem like the most immediately dangerous individual, at least to me. Yes, no? Thoughts? I I agree, but uh, yeah. I've been shy, so I'm thinking the aim of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you have a bias. <laughs> Can I aim a ballista at the spell guy? The staff guy? Sure. You indeed can. Is that another d20 plus six or is something else? The ballista is also plus six. Nice. nice. Ooh. That. Dirty 20. That hits. Uh, that is. Uh, 2d6 for damage. Oh. oh. Okay, they take some damage. Cool. That's oh. a pointing shot. Let's go with that. <laughs> yes, I want that to know. I'm coming from someone. <laughs> I want to cast uh. a spell on our flaming head friend who's barking orders. Okay. What spell is that? Uh, call lightning. Oh. Oh, okay. I was going to say something water themed to put out their hair. <laughs> uh, so, Call Lightning is a very, very fun spell. Uh, you could have cast it a little bit ago. I could have, but then I got hit with a rock and uh, I had to <laughs> contemplate my life decisions. <laughs> so, uh, Call Lightning takes a 30 foot radius around a storm if there's clouds you kind of take control of that and make make the storm happen only if uh, there, yeah if there's a storm yeah uh the clouds are getting kind of heavy so it's also a six i guess i'm gonna roll, roll 2d6 for me real quick uh let's say kai he hasn't done a ton real lightning <laughs> oh oh buddy <laughs> <laughs> oh Uh, can you roll? Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you absolutely can strike that guy with lightning. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anyone within sixty feet of him? Because uh, it would be oh, within not... ten, the, the, the bolt of lightning you call down is a ten foot radius on the ground. You're right. Uh, uh... There, there is not. Not well. I, he he's not with specifically within t ten feet of like the crews that he would be uh, commanding. What is your spell safe DC? Adema. Oh, I am muted. I'm... My fault. <laughs> Let me see here. Actually, not positive. It's eight plus proficiency, E plus your spellcasting spell modifier. Okay. So you would be with them. It's not fourteen. Yes, yeah, spell DC fourteen, fourteen says in your sheet. Okay. He succeeds, but I believe he still takes half damage. Yeah. What do you say? Like, how how do you cast call lightning? Uh. 
Feast your eyes on the glory of Thassa. Okay. Thing. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, what is damage on that as well? Oh, let's find out. Oh. Wow. He takes uh, not quite that much of that. It could be half, so it'd be two. Yeah. And... yeah. Oh, yeah. He seems a little bit stunned having been hit, but then turns. I should, I should hope so. And like shakes it off a little bit and uh, gets right back to her. Can I take a shot at the lady with the musket now? No? <laughs> yes. What are you shooting at her? The fucking cannon. <laughs> you are too close to move the, to shoot that high with the cannon. At this range, you can Aww. only get uh, all right, She is taking also taking shot. aim. Um, so did we'll you, do that. Did you, say we're, did you say we're within 30 feet of the ship? Or is that how close oh, we are? Absolutely, we are. Okay. Fine, I'll do that. Um, who am I targeting with her? Uh, that hits Ithvik. Um, uh, one, two, three, four. So, normal. Plus, oh. yes, because no one's within five feet, no enemy is within five feet of me, so I get it. You have to, that only applies to melee range for swashbucklers. You have okay. to be within five, five feet of the target and no one else within five feet of either of you or an ally within five feet of the target. Didn't think that was a... Hold yeah, for, for rakish audacity, it does. Uh... Rakish oh, audacity. Right, yeah. I just don't need advantage to get it. Yeah, it, it, it's just... Yeah, it, but, 1v1. I guess. Well, the thing is, I didn't move, so I'm just steady aiming. Fair. That, that, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, go ahead and reroll your attack roll and crit fish it for the advantage. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Oh, so close. No, no crit, but you you definitely hit for solid damage, actually. I should have... I used my bonus action to do that, but I didn't get to do favorite also. Yep. 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 And Simon, are you wanting to shoot as well? Um, Just real quick, can you give me a description of the staff-bearing individual? They are, uh, they appear to be human, um, as best you can tell, they are female. Uh, they, the staff itself is pretty nondescript, and they're using it to sort of, like, point to things that they might, might be ordering someone to, or something like that. Uh, they aren't, don't look particularly armored, or armed other than the staff. Uh, you don't see anything like a spell book or anything like that, however. Okay. So they, so they don't seem like a spellcaster, just like a staff user. Is that the impression I get? That is a you question. Valid. Oh. <laughs> um, I have an idea of something I want to try, but I don't know how well it's going to go off. Well, I have a question for you, Simon. Do you carry a spellbook? No, that's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, a 22 yeah. hits you, correct? Yes, it does. Who? Kai. You take nine points of piercing damage as the person who appears to be the, the opposing captain uh, shoots you. That's Danny again? Or the... Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and then you all see her um, cat, like sling the, the musket over her back, draw a, a rapier and a pistol. And she shouts, prepare for boarding. 
Oh, they want to board us. <laughs> they stole our idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are pirates. Uh, what's what's going on here, there, uh, Simon? Okay, I'm gonna try something a little ballsy. This might not go off well, but let's give it a try. I would like to use my misty step to teleport to the other ship, and I would like to attempt to grab the staff-bearing individual and fly and dra and pull them off the ship and drop them into the drink. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, if they if they appear to be someone who's giving orders, then we do well with a lot less orders being given. All right, I I like the idea. Okay, uh, so you Missy step over. All right, that's one of my um, spell slots. You Missy step over. This will be a grapple check to grab them. Okay. Um. And carrying another person will have your speed while in the air. Yeah. Uh, my movement is 30, but if I've already yeah. moved the first 30 over to their ship with the teleport, yeah. I, I don't need to move very far away off the side of the ship, just enough t to clear the side of the ship so I can drop them. Yes. I would note that teleports don't count. As oh, I, I, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's yeah, not my yeah. problem with that. Don't worry. Um sure let's do deal with the grapples give me okay. uh an athletics check okay is do might i get advantage because i caught them off guard by teleporting sure grapple is the special attack so so yeah um they are going to oppose it with their own either acrobatics or athletics check okay um not okay. okay. Not not terrible. Uh, I will note that they have a plus five to this check. Uh, uh, yep. I don't know. <laughs> they they succeed. Okay. Uh, they don't grab you. They just like dodge out of the way. Okay. And like kind of put push your hands out. You do still have your movement and can get out of the way. Okay. I, I, I get out of there, buddy. <laughs> get out of there. Yeah, I want to keep if I, since I missed them I want to keep going and keep flying and then sort of like duck just below the edge of the ship so that I'm flying next to the ship so that they cannot sure. see me easily sure which side of the ship uh the far side as in like the direction I, I was go already going okay so, so not the side that your ship is on yeah cool you do that all right, it was worth a try. You are up here somewhere. Cool. Uh, all right, at this point, I think we should roll regular initiative. Okay. Which does mean... I think we are going to pause here for uh, this week because now I need to do the other ship. Okay. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, I want to hit people. <laughs> Don't worry. That will happen. It's going to be a lot of hitting. Who got the cape of the mountebank? Which one is that? I did. Kai. Kai. Okay. You can absolutely teleport onto the other ship. Potentially with someone who wants to be me, on the other me, ship. Me, 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 <laughs> yeah. me. Just airdrop her in. Airdrop me in. Dimension Door is such a great deliver the barbarian spell. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I know we're ending a little early, but thank you everyone for watching. Um, we are going to resolve the rest of this. this um, combat on on the high seas next week on scourge of the dragon sea there is just the call of duty kill streak yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've gone over before so this is kind of evens us out yeah yeah all right awesome uh, good do you start have an you want to do everybody uh yeah so thanks to thanks to you first off for running another amazing <laughs> session <laughs> Our DM, <laughs> and uh, thanks to all of our lovely players here for continuing to gather for this amazing fun campaign. <laughs> I was just getting into the combat. <laughs>
Unfortunately, we'll have to, unfortunately, you'll have to hold on to your murder boner for another week. <laughs> she shot me. I have to kill her now. Come on. Don't worry. You'll get your chance. <laughs> All right, but uh, until then, thank you all, everyone. Uh, for anyone who tuned in and uh, who's checking out the VOD as well, uh, make sure to follow the Twitch channel and subscribe to the YouTube. And, uh, yeah, keep, tune in for another week, and uh, we'll see what happens when we get right down into the proper combat with the ship that we're chasing. All right, so let's see who is streaming right now that I can rate us to. I noticed while we were streaming that we were gifted a sub to my stream team fellow partner, Q Dominus, who is playing Power Wash Simulator right now, so I think I will rate everyone over there. Perhaps, so. perhaps <laughs> they are doing the new FF7 uh, DLC where you can power wash several vehicles from that game. I've been hearing news about that. <laughs> That sounds like such a weird game to me, but like I'm glad people are enjoying it. It, it is so satisfying. Yeah, <laughs> it's like chill and satisfying, and <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, right. All right, thank you, everyone. I'm sending the raid over, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So that stuff, ladies. <laughs> is she? I'm pretty sure that's a monk, yes.